What's going on, brothers and sisters in Christ, and to my YouTube family? Natty from Be Like Burians Ministries here. How's everybody doing? So, I've got some new breaking news about things that are going on. Welcome to There's More Going On Than What They're Telling You, Part 2. If you saw Part 1, that was just an intro about things that are really going on, but the second part... I got these things from an article from rumble.com and in the article it was an interview between Lynn Wood who is an attorney general on Trump's staff, some retired military generals, a bunch of top brass, come on I mean top brass, and guess whose side they're all still on, Donald Trump. So, do you think that, okay, here's a hypothetical question for you. Do you think a top military is going to be fooled by corruption and really think that Joe Biden is going to be a president of the United States? Logically think that through, okay? Because what I'm ashamed by are some of these false prophets well, actually, I expect false prophets to share a false prophecy because guess what? All they know is falsehood. But there's one guy in particular I'm forgiving, but he said something yesterday that was not right. It wasn't biblical. He was trying to explain the Bible through a worldly lens, which you cannot do. It's impossible because the world in the kingdom God's kingdom, they're exact opposites. They hate each other, okay? Anybody with common sense and a brain knows this. So, this brother, Mr. Greg Jackson, I want to tell you I forgive you for what you posted yesterday, but please, 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 please repent of what you shared. Please. I love your gospel message, but the prophecy you shared was from a worldly view. It wasn't the kingdom. So I want you to please repent. And those of you that know him, please take the time to pray for him. Let's restore our brother, okay? I love the guy. But he said something that was prophesied from a worldly viewpoint that wasn't God's viewpoint, okay? And how you know is... He prophesied something that wasn't Hebrews 11.1. 1. And if you know what Hebrews 11.1 1 says, it's faith is being sure of what we hope for. And the word hope for in that definition means confident expectation and certain of what we do not see. And what's what you are seeing is not hope at all. So you're certain that there's no hope. Because of all you see on social media, TV, other people posting things. And I stayed off of Facebook for a while from January 6th till yesterday. I mean, I was kind of off and on reading things, seeing who was truly of God, who was just going to church just for friends, and like who, who has a true relationship, who doesn't. And who can see the supernatural and who can't. Because I was doing a little test. Testing to see like, who really was trusting in God and actually kind of had a general idea, knew what was going on. And there's a lot of people that I feel like throwing mustard seeds at. I feel like asking God to have it rain down mustard seeds. So that way they can have some faith that would move a mountain like my gosh. All the complaining, it's like, oh. And these are people that are believers. But to the point of more going on than what they're telling you, here are some things in that article from Rumble that I wanted to discuss. So, in that article, you're going to learn a lot of cool things about Space Force, what it was really intended. It's going to blow your mind. The real meaning of COVID. That, wow, okay. And then you're going to learn about 
all the different corrupt government agencies that are either having people resign or cyber warfare, why the military is in DC, It, this is all part of what has been going on behind the scenes while Satan has been showing his narrative to where everyone can see it. Everything God is doing behind the scenes. It's the beginning of the Great Awakening. It's taking place right now. And if you guys want a copy of this article, comment in the comment section saying, I want a copy of where you're getting this. I'm going to send you that article. I'm going to copy and paste it to your comments so that way you guys can read it. Read it for yourself. See it for yourself. And there's some people I've shown these things to and they still aren't believing. So it's like, my gosh, guys, have faith. Where's your faith at? It's sad. So I've been watching a few different guys. Steve Pachinik is one. He's a war strategist for psychological warfare. You'll see him on InfoWars. There's two guys that are part of British Intel, either MI5 or MI6. I'm trying to remember which is which. I think Simon Parks is MI6 and Charlie Ward is MI5. Those two guys understand a lot of worldly intel from a British perspective. So they're gathering information from close sources putting it together as well as Steve Pachinik and Doug Billings is a host I can't remember the name of his show but I think it's right side broadcasting is the name of it so been listening to them and they have been spot on with their analysis and they have direct insight to military intel the military will give them a few pieces of information they can't give it all away because, you know, a lot of it is, you know, classified. But here's what's encouraging. The top brass of America, FBI, the key people that are in control are still on Donald Trump's side. No false preacher is going to tell you that. Because guess what false preachers do? They try to see the kingdom from a worldly lens. You can't do it. It's impossible. And these false prophets are sharing prophecies from the world, a worldly lens from what they see. That's how you know these guys are phony. Or they're getting these visions from Satan preaching this falsehood. Because that's what Satan wants these people to do. I mean... Don't believe me, hey, Eric Hale, Colton's megaphone. Sorry, Colton, I had to. But dude, I don't think your megaphone stopped yelling yet. I still think my ears are ringing from your live stream, bro. Oh my Lord. Next time I hear Eric Hale speak, I'm gonna have to like put earplugs in and just see how wide his mouth goes. <laughs> There's going to have to be like an ordinance for noise pollution for that guy. And if he really is as spiritual as he claims, does he not know that self-control is a fruit of the spirit? He can use an inside voice, you know. So if people ask me if Eric Hale is of God, this is my response. Oh, hell no. <laughs> that he's one of those that preach destruction. Colton preached destruction in a video. A lot of people were preaching this destruction to U.S. of A. Because guess what? They saw it from a worldly viewpoint. They didn't do their research to make sure what they received was of God. And that's why I don't listen to YouTube. These YouTube prophets and preachers and these visionaries. None of them do their homework. They're so fascinated with the supernatural that they have to share it. But do they study it? In the, in the New Testament, when anyone got a vision, a dream, prophecy, there was always an interpreter. And somebody was dumb enough to say lies to that when I made a comment about it on one of Colton's videos. And they were saying, that's not true. Uh, the Bible clearly said it was true. 
Anytime there was impending judgment upon the Jews in the Old Testament, somebody spoke in a foreign tongue and there was an interpreter to interpret what was said in that tongue to see if it was from God or another spirit. Same in Acts. When they spoke in tongues, there was always an interpreter. Or there was two or three together to determine whether or not that was of the Spirit of God. So, here's the key things that I want you to be prepared for. There may be some power outages coming up in the next few days. There's going to be some arrests. I don't know how quick they're going to get all the people they need to get arrested, arrested, but Charlie Ward in one of his videos said it best. We know the destination. Let's enjoy the journey. So guess what? Enjoy the journey. And on the 20th, if there is an inauguration, which there probably will be, because you know Satan's going to try to pull out all of his stops, do not panic. I repeat, do not panic. Because here's why. It's a fake inauguration. You want to know how I know it's a fake inauguration? Because it's going to be done in a secret room. Probably Chief Justice Roberts in one of his Supreme Court rooms will probably host this fake inauguration. And the mainstream media will be there, obviously, because, you know, Biden's their golden boy. Who's going to save their necks? Or so they think. But come on, can you really fool the top military brass when they have all of your information? The riot on the Capitol, there was more that, ha that happened on that day. Now they have all this information about Biden's ties to China. They've got all this information about Obama and his ties to Iran. The Clintons. They've got practically everything. And why it's taken them this long is because when you're having to find out about this much corruption, it takes a while to get the evidence. But here, here's the kicker. It's worth the wait. Because what we're going to be seeing is God's hand moving. And yes, sometimes God's hand takes longer than we want it to. But you know what? He's an on-time God. Can I get an amen? We're about to see it. And this is the great awakening that was prophesied by some of the true prophets. It's happening right now behind the scenes. And if you know this, you should be more excited than discouraged about Wednesday. So that Rumble article, I'm going to send it to you guys if you want to copy if you want me to send you the link to that, just go ahead and write a comment. And say, I want that article. Just put that in the comments. And if you hear any of these false preachers preaching the message of destruction or mark of the beast for COVID or all that other stuff, rebuke them. And please make sure you research things before you automatically assume that they're of God. Because if you know they're a prophet of Satan and they're getting visions, guess where they're getting them from? It's obvious, okay? You know Eric Hale. We did a study on him. We already know about said Stonehenge Colton Kelly. His ears stick out like this. What's up, brothers and sisters in Christ? It's Colton from Seeking Wisdom Ministries. May the joy of the Lord be our strength. Yeah, you know, that guy. I'll repent for, okay, I'm sorry. Shouldn't have done that. I didn't want to give the legalist material. Oops. So if you hear these prophetic dreams and visions that are preaching destruction, even though they have no clue that the Great Awakening is taking place right now, that God's hand's really moving because we have the article and the evidence to show 
I'll put that link in the comments section for you guys. If you ask for it, say, hey, where's that article? And I'll go ahead and send that article to you. I can copy and paste the link for y'all to read. It's really good. You may be like, but I don't believe it. Well, if you don't believe it, I don't know what to tell you, except you have little faith. Maybe I'll put, maybe I'll throw y'all some mustard seeds or something. I don't know. But if you guys are going to be saying, well, the media didn't say this was true. How can I know? Well, guess what? The media is of Satan. They're on Satan's team. They're not going to tell you God's truth. You kidding? <laughs> The media's got their hand in the corruption just like these crooked politicians do. And these crooked governments. And everything. And the military knows it. You can't fool America's top brass. You can't. They have all this classified information you don't even know about. I don't even know about. You're telling me the top military in the world is going to be fooled by election fraud? Do you want to know why Trump went every legal way, even though he didn't have to, to, to see how corrupt these people were? So people could save their own necks. He wanted to see who was loyal and who wasn't. God does the same thing. He wants to see who his loyal servants are and who aren't through different trials, tribulations. Like, who's still going to be standing for Christ during hard times? And who's just going to cave in and wimp out and cry? And reward is going to be great for those who endure, if you're a believer. If you don't believe that, lose your salvation junk. Have you ever seen a video from someone who believes you can lose your salvation? It's scary what they post. I watched this one from someone who rebuked me for believe, believing once saved, always saved. I went to their channel. Their whole video was just this report of discouragement. I am struggling right now. I don't feel like I can do this. I'm burnt out. And they're telling me that they know the gospel, but their whole video was just a list of discouragement. That's when you know they're wrong. Because serving God should never be burdensome. It isn't. If you have good news, how is that a burden? I want to know. Smart people want to know what you're thinking. And why you think it. But anyways, so, let's go ahead and close this out. So, we're going to discuss the few things that we need to know to prepare for the 20th and we'll close it out in prayer and we'll pray for those that believe a false gospel because what's going to happen is going to be very symbolic to what judgment day is going to be like when everything will be revealed and my hopes and my prayers for all of you is that one you're believing the correct gospel and two your relationship with god is extremely strong and three you're living an amazing, Holy Spirit-filled life so you can have a more rewarding life when you get to heaven. So those are my hopes for all of you. So, on January 20th, this is what we're, we need to discuss. So first off, if don't panic, obviously, is number one. Two, please remember who's still on the throne. Because if you have that key piece, it doesn't matter if you have the other rest of the pieces. You have the key piece that sets you free and saves. Use it. And three, if you hear a false preacher preaching destruction, please tell him, hey, we have evidence against your preaching. And you're not preaching God's narrative. And if you don't repent, you are going to, and you are not going to, like what will happen to you. You will suffer a tough, disturbing punishment from God because you're choosing not to repent and believe Satan's narrative even though you claim to be a child of God. So please repent. 
See things from the kingdom's perspective, not from the world. The world is not going to give you biblical answers. It can't. It doesn't have the capability. The only way you're going to know how the kingdom operates is having God's perspective by reading his word and having a relationship and being a true believer. That's the only way you're going to find out. And the fourth, continue to be in prayer. It's, it's important. It's very important, especially with what's going on, all the craziness going on. But that article from rumble.com, it's going to show you how God has been working the whole time behind the scenes and how this great awakening is about to take place. And, hey, we're true believers. Let's enjoy this journey. We know the destination. It's exciting. And with the military knowing what they know, there's no way the military would ever let Biden be president. Because if Biden were president, then he would have access to the war codes to some things I addressed in the first video. China invading Taiwan and Iran invading Israel. And that would cause World War III. We can't have that. The military knew that. I mean, the top brass of America is going to fall for fraud. You've got to be pooping your pants kidding me. But all right, that's enough. Let's go ahead and close this out with the word of prayer. And uh, we'll dismiss for the evening. Thank you, Lord, for allowing me to bring truth to this channel, bring truth to people watching, bring truth to people that I care about. Thank you, God, for the people that tune in that have subscribed to this channel or haven't subscribed yet that will, that, will, that are hungry for truth, hungry to see how you're working in a time of chaos. Thank you for giving people boldness to stand up, to share the truth, to see things from your perspective and not the world's, not Satan's. And thank you for all the things that you are doing right now behind the scenes and continuing to do that will eventually be revealed so the Thomas, the doubters can come back and see how amazing your word really is and how amazing you are and how your hand of justice will be played and how your hand of mercy has just been so incredible and just how great you are, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to all this truth. And we pray that people's eyes will be opened, hearts will be mended, Minds will be strengthened, that they'll have comfort in this time, knowing that you're totally in control right now. And it's exciting to see how you're continuing to work and how you will continue to work. And thank you for opening my eyes to some things so that way I can share them to others to give them comfort. And hopefully we can all continue to have our eyes open to your amazing goodness, God. Thank you so much. And it's in your name we pray. Amen. And all of my YouTube family and God's people say, Amen. Let's go be conquerors for Christ. God's good. Love you.